The investment potential of some luxury handbags has now far outpaced the investment into stocks and rare art, with some luxury bags selling for almost double their retail price. However, as well as a gain in monetary value, investments can also be in terms of cost per wear, or investing in a high quality luxury handbag made with the finest premium materials and the highest standard of craftsmanship. An investment bag can also simply be a bag with a rich history and heritage with somewhat of a following, bringing you joy knowing that you are part of it and also own a piece of that history and giving you a sense of pride whenever you wear it. So let's take you through a selection of investment handbags to add to your collection. And at number 10, we have the Gucci Dionysus bag. With somewhat of a following, especially due to its beautifully crafted centerpiece buckle. With prices starting at upwards of £2,200 for the small size. Shortly after Alessandro Michele was promoted to creative director, he debuted his first handbag for the Gucci fashion house, Dionysus. Debuted and released in 2015, the Gucci Dionysus combines Gucci's historic house codes with a modern update. The defining feature of the Dionysus was the distinctive, striking, signature Tiger Heads closure hardware in a horseshoe shape, adorning the front of the bag flap, an instantly recognisable piece of jewellery. According to Greek mythology, Dionysus was the god of fertility, wine, celebration and dance with a hint of madness. And the Tiger Heads have been adapted from his story, in which Dionysus is said to have crossed a river on the back of a tiger sent to him by his father Zeus. The antique metal horseshoe piece with tiger heads on the end with dual crystals of different colours can appear in silver, palladium and gold tone. The horse shape being an element that links back to Gucci's equestrian roots. The Dionysus has fast become another iconic Gucci bag with a design that speaks to Alessandro's philosophies surrounding culture and extravagance. The Dionysus bag is a structured clasp bag with a slightly trapezoidal boxy silhouette design that features a double flap and a convertible chain strap. This makes the bag versatile so it can be worn at shoulder length or as a crossbody or even a clutch. The sliding chain also allows the bag to be used as the top handle. The Dionysus has been created in countless iterations and is available in many materials, both simplistic and striking materials. In addition to matching or contrasting suede inserts on the front flap of the double flap, the Gucci Dionysus gives countless opportunities for innovation within the range. The Gucci Dionysus bag also features a pin lock closure with a side release that opens the bag up to a microfiber suede looking interior lining and trifold accordion gussets on the side of the bag. The inside of the Gucci Dionysus bag is divided into three compartments with two open and one central zippered compartment. It also features a slim side pocket on the back of the bag and a pocket under the flap. The Dionysus is a bag that can dress up any outfit during any season. Among the most iconic Gucci bags of all times, the Dionysus continues to be coveted as a Gucci staple. The Gucci Dionysus is the perfect blend of Gucci's 70s glamour with a refreshing update. Whether you're looking for a timeless elegant bag or just a trendy seasonal piece, the Gucci Dionysus bag is definitely a piece you should consider adding to your collection. And at number 9 we have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag. The OG of all tote bags which also has somewhat of a massive following, with prices starting at upwards of £1,400 for the PM size. Debuted in 2007, the Louis Vuitton Never Fall is arguably one of the OG totes of tote bags. The name of the iconic Never Fall bag comes from the function it has to be Never Fall. The Never Fall is an effortlessly practical tote. Originally launched as a seasonal bag, the Louis Vuitton Never Fall has since been re-released in a multitude of new materials and stars and has become a mainstay in the Louis Vuitton handbag collection. 
The Louis Vuitton Never Full Bag is crafted from waterproof and scratch-resistant canvas, making it extremely durable, with some versions featuring a natural cowhide leather trim. The striped interior of this timeless tote bag is made with the canvas like the canvas of the original Louis Vuitton trunks of the past. The Louis Vuitton Never Full Bag is a slightly trapezoidal-shaped shopper tote, with drawstring-like cinching straps on the sides of the bag which can be drawn in, giving the owner the flexibility to change the shape of the bag according to their preference, and in order to make the Louis Vuitton Never Fall a compact, sophisticated city bag. The Louis Vuitton Never Fall is an open top tote that features two sturdy leather shoulder strap handles, in addition to a piston-like clasp closure, and opens up to one large open compartment and one zip interior pocket. The Louis Vuitton Never Fall also features an additional practical removable mini pocket pochette introduced in later versions post-2014. The Louis Vuitton Never Full bag also comes with elements of gold-plated hardware on both the interior and exterior. The Louis Vuitton Never Full bag is commonly offered in the brown-checked Demier Ebene canvas, the white-checked Demier Azur canvas and the signature Louis Vuitton monogram canvas. Both the Demier Azur canvas and the monogram canvas come with a natural, untreated cowhide leather trim and handles, which develops a patina over time. Whilst the Demier Ebene canvas comes with a coated leather trim and handles, the Never Full bag is also available in the Epi leather and the monogram Ompriant. Since 2014, the Never Full's interior lining has been offered in a selection of bright shades, lending a pop of vivid colour and twist to the timeless Never Full bag. The Neverfall in the Epi Leather offering comes in a wide array of vibrant exterior colours. The Louis Vuitton Neverfall bag comes in three different sizes. The PM, the Petite Model, Small Model, the MM, the Moyenne Model, Medium Model and the GM, the Grand Model, Large Model, which fits everything and the kitchen sink. The GM size is said to even carry up to £200, with a vast interior that seems impossible to fill. The Louis Vuitton Neverfall is definitely an ideal hand luggage option too. An ideal bag for the office to the beach, holding all your essentials from day to night. Not to be fooled by its lightness, the delicate looking cowhide handles have been reinforced with double stitching and thick overstitched chaps. The Louis Vuitton Neverfall tote is an iconic, functional, practical, durable, but most importantly stylish tote. And at number eight, we have the Dior Saddlebag. Ever since its resurgence, the Dior saddlebag has gone from strength to strength, with prices starting at upwards of £2,900 for the mini size. The Dior saddlebag was designed and debuted in 1999 on the runway for John Galliano's Spring-Summer 2000 collection. Galliano's first bag for Dior was a bag in the shape of a horse saddle. The saddlebag was ubiquitous and quickly propelled into the mainstream. The bag quickly became the most talked about accessory and was seen on the arms of every it girl, both real and fictional, in the mainstream in the late 90s and early 2000s. From Paris Hilton to Carrie Bradshaw, the kidney-shaped classic bag also made pop culture being featured on Sex and the City. The Dior saddle bag is easily recognisable due to its unique shape. It features a short shoulder strap and bold hardware and is worn tight against the arms. Initially, the Dior saddlebag was an instant hit, but only a year later, the purse began to fade and fashionistas moved on to the next it bag. But in 2014, Beyonce catapulted the Dior saddlebag firmly back into the global fashion scene, and she was spotted wearing a vintage version, which was then followed in hot pursuit by many other Hollywood A-listers. The rise in popularity and increased demand for vintage versions of the Dior saddlebag was so hard to ignore by the Dior fashion house. And in 2018, the must-have statement bag of the late 90s was revived for Dior under the creative direction of Maria Grazia Turi. It became the centerpiece of the Dior fashion house once again. The modern Dior saddle bag boasts a slightly larger size to accommodate the modern desire of fashionistas to fit more into their bag. The saddle bag also has a magnetic snap closure instead of the Velcro on previous models. Dior also introduced the additional detachable long shoulder strap sold separately, making the saddlebag more versatile with many carrying options. The saddlebag is commonly offered in two versions, the first being a block monochrome colour in buttery leather and the second in the Dior's classic oblique jacquard canvas. 
The saddlebag has also since been introduced in various other versions, from patent leather, monochromatic matte leather, to camouflage canvas, satin, denim, and even ostrich and python skins. And other options offered feature embellished variations with, pe- with beads and patchwork florals. On the oblique pattern now, the font is smaller and defined, and the D accent at the front of the saddle is bolder. The Dior saddle bag opens up to a leather or fabric lined interior, depending on the style, to one main compartment and slip pocket. The Dior saddle comes in two sizes, the mini and the medium. Traditionally, the Dior saddle designs come in gold hardware, but in recent years, the hardware of the Dior saddle designs have expanded to incorporate black ultra matte and crystal encrusted variations. Quite the revival for the Dior saddle bag. However, it's back here to stay and has become a street style staple for a more daring fashionista and is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number seven, we have the Fendi Baguette Bag. The wide array of variations of the Fendi Baguette Bag has made the Fendi Baguette Bag somewhat of a collector's item. With prices starting at upwards of £2,400 for the midi size. The Fendi Baguette Bag most definitely started off as an it bag of the season, but has now become a mainstay and a classic. The iconic bag made its debut in the 1998 Fall Winter Collection, thanks to its mastermind, Sylvia Venturini Fendi. Sylvia was asked to craft an accessory that reflected not only the DNA, the Fendi fashion house, but the spirit of minimalism of society at the time. The end product was anything but minimalistic. Instead, it was flashy, playful and unique, unlike anything else on the market at the time. The Fendi fashion house was unsure of its size and functionality, but Sylvia wanted to move away from basic designs. So Sylvia stuck to her vision and trusted her instinct. Fendi sparked the rapid consumption of regular bags by introducing the baguette bag in numerous different designs. The baguette bag is a small, compact, streamlined bag that comes with a short strap and the famous Fendi logo, easily adapted for different looks. The baguette is available in many different textures, styles and patterns, from floral sequins, shared mink and tribal beads to skins and glittery details and exclusive pieces as well as the limited edition DIY baguette kits. Since the baguette debut, there has been more than 1,000 variations. The baguette was initially available in only one size, but with the relaunch of the baguette bag, additional sizes were added. We now have the micro nano size, which is supposed to be a charm for belts and bags. However, it now comes with a chain that allows it to be worn as a crossbody. The mini, which is sold with a stylish leather top handle and a chunky long chain strap attached at the sides. The classic baguette, which can be worn or carried in many different ways due to the longer shoulder strap, with some variations also coming with a chain strap version as well as the top handle. The large baguette also comes with a second shoulder strap, but no chain version. Two other newer silhouettes include the Easy 2 baguette and the flat baguette. And then there's also the double baguette, inspired by the original baguette as well as the Pico version, a dual accessory suitable for carrying AirPod earphones. Although baguette bags are supposed to be different and unique, they do have the same distinctive feature and signature design elements that can be found on each bag. Every baguette is the same shape, All baguettes have a rectangular silhouette with a short shoulder strap. Also, each baguette has the same interlocking double F hardware logo on the front flap clasp. With different variations on the clasp, sometimes the clasp is left plain or adorned with embellishments. The revival of the iconic bag has ensured it will forever remain a part of the Fendi fashion house. The Fendi baguette is a timeless, iconic, classic piece that will remain in the archive of Fendi iconic bags forever. And at number six, we have the Chanel boy bag. A cornerstone bag of the Chanel fashion house, still at a reasonable price point, with prices starting at upwards of £4,500 for the small size. 
The Chanel Boy Bag was debuted in Chanel's Fall of Winter collection in 2011 and has fast become an iconic bag of the Chanel fashion house and a mainstay in Chanel's handbag selection that has been offered every season since its release. The Chanel Boy Bag pays homage to the love of Gabrielle Coco Chanel's life, Arthur Boy Capel, who was an English polo player and aristocrat in addition to being Coco Chanel's muse and greatest love. Arthur Boy Capel inspired Gabrielle Coco Chanel's tendencies to play with the masculine accent in her style and subsequently inspired the late Karl Lagerfeld. The Chanel Boy Bag was the first complete redesign of the classic flap. While still honouring many of Coco Chanel's original 255 house codes, the Boy Bag introduced some more modern updates the inception of the boy bag started in 2010 when the late Karl Lagerfeld delved into the Chanel archive and came across a bandolier and cartridge bag used for storing ammunition during a hunt. However, Coco Chanel had repurposed the bag for her equestrian trips, using the bag as a purse. Karl Lagerfeld used this as the inspiration for the boy bag and added his signature decadent flair through the use of heavy hardware along with various fabrics and enhancements. Over the years, the Chanel boy bag has been introduced in several sizes, from a mini, small, there was the old medium, the new medium, a large and the XL. With the new medium introduced in 2014, making the boy bag roomier than the old medium and allowing for more organisation of your belongings, two new interior pockets and extra storage space. The medium size tends to be the more popular as you get the best of both worlds, a little more space and convenient enough to carry daily. The Chanel Boy Bag is available in many versions and variations of leather, materials and hardware. Leathers commonly used are the caviar leather and the lambskin leather. Caviar leather having a textured surface which makes it a more hard wearing leather and the lambskin leather has a more luxurious look and softer feel. Luxurious textiles used include tweed, canvas, PVC, denim. In addition to special editions like the So Black rendition and the iridescent Chanel Boy Bag offering. The Chanel Boy Bag is also available in a vast and wide array of colours, from block colours to bicolour and tricolour offerings. The Chanel Boy Bag features straight and clean lines with a boxier structure and angular corners and is easily identified by its thick rectangular main body pattern framed by a raised leather ribbon straight edge contrasting the central body of the bag. The Chanel Boy Bag is usually offered in the classic Chanel diamond quilting in addition to the chevron quilting on the body of the bag and there is also the sleek reverso quilting which consists of an unquilted body and a quilted frame. Another distinguishable characteristic of the Chanel Boy Bag is its clasp lock closure bearing the iconic prominent large CC squeeze lock brick lock on the front flap giving the bag a more industrial look. The hardware of the Chanel Boy Bag appears more antiqued in comparison to the dainty jewellery look of the Chanel Classic Flap Bags and is available in various tones of silver, gold, gunmetal, antiqued and oxidised finishes but more options are available, like in the matte black or the ruthenium offering. The Chanel Boy Bag also features a shoulder strap composed of thick metal chains, referred to as the bijou chain, due to its wider and heavier links, instead of the signature interwoven straps on other Chanel bags. Some variations of the Boy Bag are complemented by options of an adjustable short leather strap for comfortability and other variations come with a short chain top handle so you can also carry it by hand. The Chanel Boy Bag is a single flap bag unlike other Chanel bags that open up to a fabric lined interior and a hidden zipper compartment under the top flap. Rumoured to be symbolic of the secret pocket Coco Chanel incorporated into her bag to hide her secret love letters. In addition to the slip pocket on the rear side of the bag, the Chanel Boy Bag is a highly desired bag amongst fashionistas for its utilitarian feel, more masculine shape, bolder, edgier and versatile design. 
a departure from the more classic and feminine Chanel handbag styles. The Chanel boy bag strikes the balance between fashion and functionality, the quintessential Parisian accessory, definitely a youthful and timeless piece to consider for your luxury collection. And at number five, we have the Hermes Constance bag. A hard bag to get a hold of that has garnered a long waiting list with prices starting at upwards of £7,000. In 1959, Hermes employed a designer by the name of Catherine Chaillet, who gave birth to a girl by the name of Constance. To honour this momentous event, Catherine decided to name one of her handbag designs after her child. The first Constance left the Hermes production line to the stores on the day of the birth of Catherine's child. The Constance immediately gained popularity through the endorsement of former First Lady Jackie Kennedy, who favoured the Hermes Constance bag. The Constance is an architecturally inspired bag, classic in appeal but still contemporary in design. The Constance is an appealing and functional bag with a sleek, sturdy, structured, boxy silhouette, in addition to rounded corners and an adjustable strap which slides through its two hasps made with palladium, gold or silver hardware. The shoulder strap is ingeniously looped, so you can wear it either long or short, making the bag versatile, as it allows you to wear it over the shoulder or as a crossbody too. The Hermes Constance opens up to an interior made of lambskin lining with an option of one or two generous gussets, which is an essential part of the Constance design as it supports its rigid and slim silhouette and helps the bag retain its shape without sagging over time. Each of the sizes of the Constance bag, except the micro, has an offering of a single gusset or a double gusset, meaning the interior will have one single compartment or two separate compartments. The interior also features a combination of zipper and slip pockets or only slip pockets. The smaller Hermes Constance has two slip pockets on the front and the rear side of the bag. The bigger Hermes Constance has a slip pocket on the front and a zipped pocket at the rear. The most striking element of the Hermes Constance is the iconic piece de resistance H buckle fastener, which grabs your attention, exhibiting perfect symmetry and balance on the Hermes Constance. The contours of the H-shaped clasp curves gently into the cutouts of the front flap. The H hardware is either offered in a gold, silver or liqueured and can also be offered set in diamonds, enameled or inlaid with a marquetry of precious stones. The Constance opens and closes with the aid of a spring-loaded mechanism concealed on each side of the bar fixed to the flap. The H is placed firmly centred with an intersecting horizontal bar. The Hermes Constance is available in the following sizes. The micro 14cm, the mini 18cm, the 24cm and a wider, narrower version called the Elan. The Elan is the latest version which was introduced in 2010 by Hermes. The sizes 23, 25 and 29 in the Constance have now been discontinued. The Elan is slightly longer and narrower and more rectangular compared to the other three sizes. The Hermes Constance incorporates Hermes's classical design and can effortlessly match any outfit and is definitely suitable for any occasion. The Hermes Constance is available in various materials like box calf skin, and other exotic materials like crocodile and ostrich skins. The Hermes Constance is a bag that has endured the test of time. Modern yet classic, functional and versatile, chic and effortless, the Constance is a great investment. And at number four, we have the Dior Lady Dior bag, a bag rich in history and heritage with prices starting at upwards of £4,000 for the small size. Since its debut, the Lady Dior handbag has never stopped turning heads. The Lady Dior bag is an undeniably a classic bag, a bag fit for a princess. 
This iconic bag was actually endorsed and elevated by the style and elegance of a real-life princess and became one of the favourite chosen accompanying bags of one of the world's most adored princesses. The original Lady Dior bag was debuted in 1994 under the creative director of Gianfranco Fur. The elegant bag was yet to be named and was officially called the Shushu, a French term of endearment which in English means favourite. Bernadette Chirac, France's former first lady, is said to have asked the world-renowned Dior to make a special item for Princess Diana for her visit to France, as she wished to give her a unique gift for the occasion as a token of French culture. The house offered her the chouchou, and it was created in leather for the first time and completed from start to finish in record time in a single night. The bag was presented to the princess at the inauguration of the Paul Cézanne exhibition at the Grand Palais in Paris. And Diana absolutely loved it from its first appearance and from that moment onwards. The Lady Dior made history and was catapulted to iconic bag status. The larger series was officially launched in 1996, paying homage to Princess Diana, when the Dior Fashion House officially changed the name of the Shushu to the Lady Dior bag. The Lady Dior bag is one of the cornerstones of the Dior Fashion House and imbues all the Dior house curls with its classic timeless design and luxurious, elegant silhouette. The Lady Dior is boxy and squarey with a rigid silhouette and features two structured arch top handles, logo charms adorned with a decorative, sparkling metal charm jewellery each charm making up the four letters of the name Dior hanging from the handles. The hardware and the metallic charm is usually offered in gold or silver tone, which adds to the brilliance of the iconic bag. Limited edition includes champagne hardware or a light blend of pale gold. The hardware zippers and plaque also carries the initials of Monsieur Dior. The bag also comes with protective studded feet. The Lady Dior is also adorned with Dior House's signature canage motif. The canage pattern inspired by Napoleon's the third shares used by Christian Dior to welcome his clientele into his atelier at his first show in 1947. The Lady Dior bag has been reimagined and revitalised countless times. The Lady Dior bag is now available in five different sizes, ranging from the Lady Dior Micro, the Lady Dior Mini, which was introduced in 2015, the Lady Dior Medium, the Lady Dior Large and the Large Dior Lady Shopping Tote. This making the bag versatile, giving you more options to carry the bag over the shoulder as a crossbody, as well as in your arm. In essence, the Lady Dior bag has not changed over the years, but each season it is revitalised in different types of leather materials, from soft cast skin, sheep skin, to delicate embroidery and luxurious velvet, in addition to microfiber, satin, denim, and precious skins like python and crocodile. The Lady Dior bag is also available in a vast array of colours, standard, classic, and pastel colours also. There are also buy and tri coloured versions in addition to the limited editions. With a few amendments and updates, the Lady Dior still remains one of the true classic and iconics from Dior. Synonymous with star elegance and beauty, the Lady Dior is rich in history and heritage. And at number three, we have the Chanel Classic Flap. A bag whose prices has soared in the last five years and is still high in demand. With prices starting at upwards of £7,090 for the small size, from the expert craftsmanship to the beautiful and rich history behind this bag, the Chanel Classic Fat is most definitely a classic and timeless forever bag. The story of the Chanel Classic Flat bag is rooted in the creation of the Chanel 255 bag. The original 255 had been redesigned multiple times over the years, but the most significant adaptation was created by the late Karl Lagerfeld in 1983. He introduced a new version of the 255 called the Chanel Classic Flap, also known as the 1112. Lagerfeld made a few changes to the 255 to make the elegant and timeless Chanel Classic Flap, updating the bag with a few distinctive features. Innovatively changing the classic square twisting lock of the 255, known as the Mademoiselle Lock, to the iconic interlocking CC Lock Clasp Hardware. One of the main characteristic differences between the 255 and the Chanel Classic Flap. Staying true to the original while showcasing its own sophisticated flair signature. Currently, the most common colours in the hardware are silver gold, light gold and so black hardware edition. The Chanel Classic Flap also features an interwoven shoulder strap of both leather and metal hardware, another distinctive feature that separates it from the 255. The Chanel Classic Flap also comes in two variations, a double or single flap. The single flap version only consists of the main exterior flap. The double flap encompasses an extra interior flap that can be detached from the interior and separates it from the main exterior flap. The Chanel Classic flap also features several pockets, seven compartments making it very practical. 
there is the curved rear pocket, actually nicknamed the Mona Lisa smile. One flat front pocket, two interior gusseted pockets with a little pocket in the middle designed to hold smaller items. One concealed pocket between the double flap at the inner flap and the zippered pocket, otherwise known as the secret pocket. The Chanel Classic flap features the signature burgundy leather on the interior with the embroidered CC initials inside and the Made in France stamp. The Chanel Classic flap is typically available in two leather skins, the sample lamb skin as well as the caviar leather, recognisable by its unique texture, which is treated, grain calf skin, made to resist water, whilst the lamb skin is known for its buttery smooth finish and delicate nature. In addition, the leathers are available in two quilting styles, the classic diamond quilting and the chevron quilting. Both of these classic flaps are available in a fast and great variety of colours. The Chanel Classic Flap is available in a plethora of sizes, from the mini square to the mini rectangle, to the small, the medium, the large jumbo and the maxi, with the medium remaining arguably one of the most popular sized options. Chanel also sometimes do limited editions to honour and celebrate special collections, which can offer different hardware options like iridescent metals. The cost of the Chanel Classic Flap can vary depending on the leather type, colour or size, and more exotic and uncommon leathers command a higher premium. The classic flap is a versatile and elegant transition bag, easily taking you from day to night and can be worn over the shoulders, on the arms or held in your arm, hands as a crossbody. The classic flap is a bag that has stood the test of time and fashion. And at number two, we have the Hermes Birkin bag. A bag that has now far outpaced investment in stocks, whose value continues to increase, especially on the second-hand market. With prices starting at upwards of £7,000 for the Birkin 25. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired items in luxury fashion industry. The Hermes Birkin is named after a cultural icon, the singer, actress and model Jane Birkin, an English actress based in France during the majority of her career. The Birkin came to existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and former Hermes chief Jean-Louis Dumas, who met by chance on a flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. Jane explained to Dumas it was hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets, and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an airplane sick bag, and the two designed a sketch for the Birkin. Hermes officially debuted the now iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Birkin bag is an elegant and beautiful bag and features a sturdy structured boxy silhouette and precious metal hardware, typically offered in a gold, silver or palladium hardware, in addition to limited editions as well. The hardware includes the zip, which features the Hermes logo engraved on both sides of the slider, in addition to the solid metal feet called the clue. Hermes Birkin is crafted in a solid but supple leather with Hermes's signature saddle stitching. The Hermes Birkin bag features double top handles allowing you to carry your bag in your hand or on your arms, a buckled flat top and clasp, a key padlock fastening with the keys enclosed in a leather lanyard known as the clochette, attached by looping it through a handle. You can lock the Birkin by closing the top flaps over the buckle loops, wrapping the buckle straps or closing the lock on the front hardware. Many Birkin carriers also tuck the flap inside the bag and buckle the straps with the lock in front to show off the Hermes Made in France stamp. The Hermes Birkin opens up to a capacious and roomy unlined leather interior with two internal pockets and an open compartment, in addition to a large zipper pocket. The Hermes Birkin comes in a range of sizes from the 25 to the 30 to the 35 to the 40 with travel bags of 50 and 55 centimetres. The Birkin comes in a variety of materials and includes hides from box calf, clements, epsom, togo leathers, to precious skins like ostrich and python skin. The Birkin also comes in a variety of colours, shades and hues, from black to gold tan and olive green. The Hermes Birkin bag is the ultimate status symbol of wealth. The exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrated history, heritage, tradition, and craftsmanship. And at number one, we have the Hermes Kelly, the most popular handbag in the world, a symbol of status and wealth. 
with a long history and heritage. It's no wonder everybody wants to get their hands on one. With prices starting at upwards of £6,500 for the Mini Kelly. The Hermes Kelly bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly bag comes with a storied history and took over 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. First introduced in 1935, the Kelly bag was originally called the Sac de Peches before it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American born actress turned Monaco princess, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere. And on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sac de Peches the Kelly bag, and it was eventually renamed the Kelly in 1977. The Kelly bag has a sculpted handle with a trapezoidal structured shape and curved edges. The Kelly also features two straps that meet over the front flap of the bag. The Kelly bag features triangular gusset sides and is made of three layers of leather. The Kelly bag opens up to a leather lined interior with a single open compartment and a zippered pocket on the rear side of the bag, in addition to two slip pockets. The Kelly is also adorned with signature hardware elements, from the clasp to the studded feet bottom, and the lock and key that sits in a leather lanyard known as the clochette. The hardware is usually either gold plated or with a palladium finish. Other versions come in 24 karat plated gold or silver. Lastly, the famous gold stamp that says Hermes Paris gives the final seal. The Hermes Kelly bag is available in eight sizes with the number relating to the length of the base of the bag in centimeters. We have the Kelly 15, the Kelly 20, the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32, the Kelly 35, the Kelly 40 and the Kelly 50. The Kelly 40 and 50 tend to work better for travel. The most common size of the Kellys are the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32 and the Kelly 35. All great choices for everyday wear. The Kelly bag comes in two distinct styles, the Cellier and the Return style. The Cellier construction is the older and defined with a pointed out edge that reveals a clearly visible top stitching and resin edge coating, giving the Kelly a more rigid structure. This also gives the Kelly Cellier a more structured formal and ladylike look. The Kelly Cellier therefore comes in levers like Epson and box leather. The Return style has a softer, slouchier structure as the bag is sewn and then turned inside out, hiding the exterior side stitching and completed with a pipe and trim. The Return is typically produced in more supple and softer leathers like the Togo and Clements leather. The Kelly Cellier is also slightly more costly than the Return of the same size due to the bag shape. The original Kelly is referred to as Kelly 1 and is often sold with a shoulder strap and features a single ring design. The Kelly 2 was released from the 2000 and is an update to the original Kelly. This version features a double ring at the top handle designed to attach a shoulder strap. The Kelly bag is also offered in precious skins from crocodile to ostrich and a wide and vast array of every colour under the rainbow in various shades and hues. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly bag has become an icon, transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom.